everybody so today i wanted to show you a couple of different modifications that i have done recently for my drilling guides or my hybrids so uh, those of you that know me uh, know that i don't always uh, put access holes in my hybrids um, until i actually uh, finish processing uh, my cases so like in this case right here in the areas where I don't have to do a lot of modification, I'll put the access holes, like I got four right here, right? But on the molars right here, in order for me to put the access holes through before processing, I kind of have to be guessing a little bit and then the, the wax is melting when I drill these things. So it creates a mess. So oftentimes I won't do that until the case is actually processed and uh, um, actually gives me an added benefit of if my two setup is a little bit incorrect and I have to move things around, uh, I don't end up um, uh, creating issues to where I need to um, buy a whole new, you know, uh, buy a, new, a whole new card of teeth and uh, have to replace it. This way, what I'll do is once the case has been set up and verified and everything's good, and before I process it, I'll scan it. But I'll scan it a little bit differently. So I'll take a couple of analogs and I'll attach those analogs just with wax to the actual interfaces. And I have taken these analogs and modified them a little bit. And I'll show you why in a minute. But the ends, I've kind of rounded them out a little bit. So it makes it a little bit easier for me to line up the uh, access holes uh, for things. So once I've got it all scanned in, I bring it into the um, three shape um, uh, custom tray module. And we'll go from here. And uh, what I'll do is, uh, I'm actually redesigning this one a little bit. Uh, I'll do the block out, then I'll do the outline, pretty basic outline, nothing special here, um, just to cover the teeth. And I, I, I want to make sure that it's about three millimeters thickness, just so it has um, a bit of strength to it, because it makes it like, a little bit more stable. You can do two millimeters, you can do two and a half, I usually do three. So it's up to you guys, whatever you want to adjust it to. So when we click on next, it's going to create a little nice uh, custom tray that fits right on top of it. Um, there's no impression gap, so it's nice and intimate fit. And what I do from there is actually you can kind of see a preview of what I did here. So let me just erase this here. So what I do is I go into the uh, menu here on this side and I choose holes and I choose four by five so it's going to be four millimeters in width and five millimeters in length and you can see i placed one right here and the way i place them is i actually uh will make this way more translucent on this end uh, and i'll actually reduce the translucency on the model as well just so i can let me zoom in so you guys can see so i can see the outline of my analog right here and that little rounded area right here that i shaved you can see that right here so Instead of uh, surface normal orientation, I'll change it to uh, view direction and uh, one by one. So when I press plus, I can line it up exactly to that dimension right here. And when I click on it, it pretty much lines it up. So when I make it longer, and the reason why I make it uh, smaller on that end, so I can see if it's all the way around here, but even if you don't, make it uh, uh, rounded like I do when you zoom back out or not zoom back out, when you start sliding it back you can kind of see where it's lining up so it's pretty nice and close so I usually just did it like this before and um, printed them and then I made a little tube that I've modified to place in there and drill the holes well now I've changed things out a little bit it makes it a little bit easier for everybody else to use so what I'll what I do is I don't stop right here. What I actually will do is I'll go into the uh, in the into the group of custom trays. Oops, sorry, custom trays, not not attachments. And I'll actually add a uh, finger stop on top of these things. And uh, let's see if this will work here. So all you need to do is you need to. Rotate this and move this right over the actual uh, hole that you've produced. What this will do is uh, create a little bit of a better uh, surface for you to place uh, 
uh, a tube that you use. Usually, you use these for surgical guides, but uh, I've I started using these very recently uh, for these drill guides. So, by doing it like this, and let's add one more on here. Let's do view direction. I'll make it a little bit easier. We'll rotate this here. And we'll move it into this area right here. It looks about right. Good. So when I click on next, it should attach everything together, hopefully. Yep, and it did. So if when I remove the model, obviously these areas I'm going to have to grind out uh, either manually or I'll, I can just cut them out uh, in digitally. doesn't really matter. Or I could have done block out in that area, which I didn't. But nonetheless, so here I have these little areas where I can put my guide tubes in. And the guide tubes that I'm actually using are these. So if you go into Blue Sky Bio and you get a guide tube that has an uh, in internal diameter of 2.4 millimeters and external diameter, outer diameter of 4 millimeters, it should fit nicely into this area here. So 2.4 uh, will allow number eight bird to slide freely in and out. And obviously, because we chose a uh, four millimeter outer diameter, you'll be able to place it in here. And now once the case is processed, all I have to do is just place this right on top and drill right through and it'll get me right to that uh, access hole and where I um, generally place a little bit of blue silicone before I start processing. That way I can just easily just grind down. And once I hit silicone, I know to stop and then just pick it right out. And I have the perfect size access hole for my hybrids. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I do for uh, these cases. And like I was showing you before, just go in here. And these are pretty inexpensive. I mean, these are, let me just click on view product. And they're, um, I think they're seven bucks or nine bucks each, something minimal. And you only need one. Uh, and you can. Um, reuse it as many times as you want you can buy several just to, in case you lose them or something but that's what i wanted to show you guys and um, good luck uh, hopefully this will help you talk to you later